got home from Epcot. Can you tell by my hair that it's been a long day? But we had so much fun. This is just your reminder to wear sunscreen. We know better. Oh yeah, you can even see from the front. I thought just the bad, the back was bad, but the front is just as bad. I did pull some down my neck, but I was expecting the temperature to be like 78 and it ended up being like 88, which even if it's not sunny or hot, I mean, you should still wear sunscreen. It just depends on the UV, not necessarily temperature. But when the temperature is lower, typically the UV is also lower. But man, I got fried. I'm gonna put some of this on. Um, typically I'll just use like my moisturizers that I know are really good for my skin. But I feel like this helps with like that initial burn feeling that I'm having right now. Cause it's been a few hours since I've been out of the sun. So I like using this like before I shower while I get a couple things done and then I'll jump in and put like really thick cream on. Hi you guys, happy Sunday. I just ran to Publix to get groceries for the week and kind of just did my meal plan before I left. Today I'm gonna make some bolognese. It just sounds like such a good comforting dinner for a Sunday and it takes like four or five hours to sit um, and simmer. So I'm gonna make that probably here soon because it's already 1.30 and I haven't eaten since like late lunch yesterday because it was such it was a such it was such a fun day, but it was just a long day. Ryan was racing at a motorsports thing, so it was like basically a whole day thing and we didn't get to bed till 1.30 and then we lost an hour of sleep. So I think I got like six hours of sleep last night. So I'm just gonna like take it easy today and relax because we have to go back to work tomorrow. I wanted today to be like a productive day, but sometimes you just gotta rest too. So I'm gonna make that and then I need to make these pastries that I was talking about in my last vlog because I've had this stuff in the fridge and I don't want it to go bad. Um, but I'm gonna eat lunch first that I got from Publix. But for this week, I'm making like the bowls that I do with fish. So Ryan does salmon, I'll do haddock and then I got Brussels sprouts to have with that and some little gold baby potatoes. I love doing that like little combination. And then we're gonna do, I guess we're having two fish things. So I'm gonna make fish sandwiches one day and then a chicken teriyaki bowls with just like rice, chicken, broccoli, and then steak sandwiches. I've really been craving the steak sandwiches that we make. So that's the plan for this week. Just had to get groceries to be able to make all that. They were making sushi like fresh when I went in there. Um, we have a really good sushi place by us that we love, but Ryan is not home. So I didn't want to go through like ordering all of that just for myself. So typically I would just get like a avocado roll or something when it's from the grocery store, but I, I do trust Publix sushi and she was making it fresh. So I'm gonna eat that for lunch and then do a little bit of cooking in the kitchen. Sunburn update, it's starting to hurt. It didn't hurt yesterday, I was outside all day again, but I wore a short sleeve shirt um, so that the sun didn't touch my skin, but today it's starting to hurt. I had a jacket on because it rained last night super hard. And with that in Florida, it always brings cold weather this time of year. So it cooled off a little bit. So I had a jacket on and whew, just having the jacket on, like rubbing on it. So I'm just going to leave the tank top on and kind of like re-lotion re every couple of hours just to try to speed up the healing process hopefully. I can barely keep my eyes open, I'm so tired. So I'm gonna take a nap as soon as I get dinner cooking so that I can simmer for like three or four hours. So I'm gonna just start with chopping all my veggies and then put everything in the pot, cook the meat and you know, make the sauce. While I'm waiting for the wine to simmer in the bolognese, and so I can add the tomatoes. I'm just gonna go ahead and make the shortcut pastries I was talking about. Um, this is a recipe that my grandma pulled from a magazine like forever ago. So I just have like a picture of it that I added to Pinterest to keep track of it. Um, 
I love from the German bakery in St. Pete, their cherry cheese danish. So that's basically what I'm going to make. So I'm going to start with my cream cheese mixture. And it's just 8 ounces of cream cheese. Um, it's the only thing about this is it's kind of hard to see. Let me do a screenshot and zoom in because I feel like Pinterest distorts it a little bit. Yeah, a third cup of sugar, a teaspoon of lemon juice, and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. are cooking i think they're gonna turn out okay i might have put too much filling on them but that's kind of like what makes them good um and then i have the sauce cooking that's gonna cook for probably like another two hours but it's already five o'clock so not gonna be taking a nap just so that i can make sure i sleep well tonight um but ryan should be home any minute so we might we need a new show to watch if you guys have any recommendations um we just watched breaking bad ryan had seen it before i hadn't and we started the better call saul which was like the spinoff of it but we just really haven't gotten into that so we're kind of on the hunt for a new show i think i did see there's new episodes of swat coming out so maybe we'll see if we can watch those but i don't know how much more i'm gonna get done around the house today probably just do some stuff on the computer Maybe I'll carry this vlog into tomorrow because tomorrow is like my really productive day. But for now, I'm going to just clean up the kitchen and get some of these dishes done because dinner will be super simple. Just cook up the noodles and I bought a Caesar salad kit. So I'll make that and throw that together and it should be a nice, easy relaxing night definitely trying to be better about not getting the sunday scaries um there's just no reason to like stress about all the meetings and work that i have to do tomorrow when it's not tomorrow yet so kind of working on that to make sure i'm enjoying uh, my days off i just took them out i could have cooked them probably like a minute less because the underneath are a little more brown than i would prefer but i think they turned out pretty good i'll be curious to taste them the cream cheese hardened up nice like cooked up nice so i tried to swirl the filling which didn't work super well next time i'll use like a toothpick or something but i was kind of being lazy because i just wanted to get them in the oven but i'll update you we'll probably have these for dessert mm -hmm. 